Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm my the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Um, this could be a dud, so we'll if yeah. so I have an I have an alternate topic to swap over to, but I want to bring this up. All right, bring Do it you up. know anything about prion diseases? I'm sorry, excuse me. What did you call me? <laughs> <laughs> prion diseases? It's uh, transmissible, untreatable, and fatal brain diseases of man of mammals. But the the cause is highly unusual. The host normal prion protein can, for unknown reasons, malfunction and assemble into structured aggregates called prions that call, cause an infectious brain disease. Oh my god! I have so this is the process, which can be underwear for years before the brain symptoms appear, are likely causes the most common form of prion diseases in people. Uh, and I think it's the same sort of thing that causes bad cow disease in cows. Yeah, what's like, the what's the vector? I mean, what what transmits it? It's like it's like your you a protein in your body malforms, and then it just like oh, makes, so it's like a cancer. I don't know. I just wondered if you knew what it was because it says. Uh, huh. It says the they they symptoms reflect the brain being destroyed and like so they can reflect from like memory loss and like stuff like that like you know seeing a cow with mad cow disease a video where they're just like going crazy and kicking all over the place and yeah but they they determined that a lot of that was from the cows eating other cows brains because what they were doing is they were ground grinding up the parts of the cow that they couldn't sell to humans and they're feeding it back to the cows so the cows eating other cows brain was actually causing. The so there, so that had that probably that malformity in it, and then they were eating it. They was eating the disease. So yeah, it's Ugh. something about Ugh. I don't know, dude. I thought you might know a little bit about it. Um, no, that's I mean honestly, when you say it, it's it the, it rings it, a bell. It, it did ring a bell. Honestly, it did ring a bell. Uh, I've I've done a little you know. No little hey. research in my days, but yeah, I, I'm not familiar with it. But it sounds terrifying. Yeah, it's like it'd be like a human getting mad cow disease. I, Have you ever seen a video of a human with rabies? Yeah, that shit yeah. is terrifying too. Like they're always like, "Ha ha, don't get rabies, get a rabies shot." Da da da. And like, if you actually get rabies, yeah, that shit is wild. Yeah, like it's it's like yeah. Have you ever seen uh the movie, the horror movie Wreck? No, I don't even know what that is. It's uh it's based off of a a Spanish movie. It has a lot to do with rabies, actually. Is why. It, oh, okay, but like it's like, uh, Deb from Dexter is in it. I never watched it. You never watched Dex? I watched the first episode. Oh, come on. It's a, hey, Dex, I'm your sister. Now we're going to have sex. Well, I'm just kidding. I'm not your sister now. No, oh, after they fucked, they didn't work siblings anymore? Regardless, Deb's in it. Um, But it's like a zombie movie in an apartment building. Firefighters, they go in place to place. They find out that it's like a advanced stage kind of rabies thing. One of my favorite horror movies ever. If you get a chance to see it out there, I suggest you see. Wow, Rick. I, how have I missed this? And you've watched it. I've watched that. Like horror is my genre. Yeah, there's actually two versions of it. I've watched the there's the Spanish version, which I found with subtitles, very very good, and the American version I kind of prefer because Deb is hot. Is Deb hot? I'm gonna look up Deb right now. <laughs> I don't know her real name. It's like uh, I'm gonna look up Deb from Dexter. Yeah, I'm not good with names, but yeah, I don't know, man. Any disease that like you lose control of your your like, well, yeah, rabies. Essentially, you have to kill the person. Um, there's no cure for rabies. The only way you can test for rabies is by taking a brain sample, which would essentially. Uh, oh, she's cute. Yeah, she's hot. She's, you know, she's older now, but back when that movie came out, that was probably like 2005, yeah, 2008 or something. Her name's Jennifer Carpenter. Jennifer Carpenter. I was looking her up the other day. That's why she uh, came to my, my forefront of thought. Mm. But yeah, any disease that like makes me lose control of my abilities is terrifying to me. Like Alzheimer's is obviously terrifying to me. Um, though, if I were to get it, I kind of feel like, you know, it's it's what you get. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I need to know what causes this. If it's just something that can just happen naturally, like I got to be sitting at home and then I can end up with pylon disease. Yeah, I think so. That's insane. I think man. like you just like you, you get something wrong happens and then your brain goes, you know what? Time yeah. to go. Is that ish on the rise or something? Man? No, there more was cases like, of pylon disease. I feel like it's something else. Cause it felt, there was an art, the article that I came across was some guy who was working with mm -hmm. prion 
was working with it in a lab that was not ready for it. And like all the comments were like, why the F was he working in a lab without blah, 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 certifications and blah, 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 protection and da, da, da. And he caught it and died, like died. Oh, he caught Because he was was working with it in a lab that was not sufficient to be working with it. And they're like, he was working with it in the open air or whatever. I think it's one of those things, you know, like they have those like tanks with the gloves that you put your thing and like you work inside the tank. I think it being being so goddamn transmissible. And I think he was working without that, and he caught it. Go figure. And he like got all fucked up from the prions, but you know. Uh, That's even... why you're not a scientific pathologist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially for like diseases of that nature. Yeah, dude. Like Ugh. that's like yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's like when they caught COVID and brought it out into the world like that. Yeah, I mean the people who probably were messing around with that probably died from it. Yeah, that's you, how if it, you caught like OG fresh off well, the that's, vine. Like the guy who brought it out into the world was a scientist from China who caught it and brought it home from yeah. the lab when they were making it. So yeah. I mean, they never said that, but that I mean, eh. I mean, come on. I'm just saying, if you caught like fresh OG COVID, OG COVID, like the original before they even knew how to treat it at all, like it just caught off the grill. Yeah, oh, COVID. I, know, I know a girl yeah, that I, had it, and she was like laid out for months, and still like forever couldn't like even run on the treadmill. She like, didn't even get it, man. She didn't get it the way they got it out there. Oh, like in <laughs> oh, you mean talking about China? I, I mean the first person to get that original purest, one hundred percent pure cut COVID. I mean, like the first most like well, the first the nah. first states the first state in the country to get it was Washington, and that's where she lives. So, I mean, like, she got the first okay, dose of, the, of the, the U.S. She got, COVID. She got the first uh, the first released wave. Yeah, the yeah. First, she got, yeah. like, one through 50. And, like, yeah. Like, she and, got like, that she was, she was She had a lot of issues. Like, a lot of issues. Yeah. Like, a lot of those. I mean, that's, I mean, that's why it was such a big deal. A lot of people started dying. Because, like, it was, like, we don't know how, to, know how to treat it. And it was making people super sick. Like, it seems like whenever, like, any of those new, like, even, like, what was that flesh-eating one um, that was out? One from Africa. Mm-hmm. Come on, Ebola, 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 Ebola. I mean, that's been around forever, but I don't know. The original Ebola. Yeah, like well, when, originally when that came out, they were like, "We don't know what to do," and there's like people dying from that. It seems like whenever any of those new diseases come out, it's always like somebody, a bunch of people die from it. H one N one. Yeah. Swine flu. Oh yeah, swine flu. Yeah, yeah, dude. Absolutely. It's like. Dude, like, well, whenever something's new, like, you don't know how it's going to affect the body. And especially yeah. something like COVID, you didn't know how it was going to. I mean, it affected people all differently. Yeah. That was the wild part about it. And the ish was really killing me. I mean, it killed a lot of people. I lost somebody from it. Yeah. From, from, from it so. Yeah, man. It's why. I mean, it's, it's nuts out here that it's doing all that. So, yeah, I just didn't know if you were like, I just can't believe they got people like. You're like, you know what I want to do? I want to work in a lab with super deadly shit that if it hap- some an accident happens at work, I'm going to die. But think about if you come up with a cure. That's essentially and that's what he was why they do. do it, right? Yeah, like, they're doing it to cure it. Yeah, like um, you know, unlock its potential. Maybe you could find a cure for something else in it too, as well. So, I mean, it's a. I don't want to say it's a selfless job because they're getting paid for it. They go. Oh, and they're probably getting paid a lot. Hazard pay. Yeah, jobs yeah. that are dangerous like that you get paid extra like, yeah and I, are you a scientist that's working on like the cure like how to find a new form of rubber that's more environmentally sound or the guy who's trying to work on prions what do you think is the over under of that company paying for his funeral do you think they do it do you think uh, they give his family a stipend if he was working within the means he was supposed to run see Westerbor's corporal answer you do you hear yourself it, I mean do you hear yourself if he's if he's work, if he's moonlighting on the side, and he's like taking, he's taking. <laughs> he was still putting hours in the lab. No, he's taking, he's taking samples to a different lab on he's his own. Dead. <laughs> because of his own stupidity. Wow, man. If it was okay, let me. I'll, I'll talk. Corpo ass. If it was, if it was, the, if the company provided the environment, then yes. But if he like took us, but listen, but if he took a sample home and went to his own lab and stole it, 
Then, man, come on. Like, the man was... Like he, <laughs> what is this movie? Is he going to come back to life as a superhero now? <laughs> like, what is this? He's, that, he's that, getting it for the Russians or something? No, he just wanted to work on it at home, bro. <laughs> he's like, got, he's got, he wants to take a little bit home with him? <laughs> the it. fuck is he taking it home with him for? Because he wants to work on it at home. No, he's selling it to the Iranians. All right, no, they'll, anyway. uh, no, man, they're going to pay for that. I mean, they have enough money. You figure yeah, they, I would hope they would. Yeah, you I would, would hope, hope, but... Up with hope, down with dope, dude. It is insane to have an employee die and not, you know, make some sort of like... If he was on the job. I mean, it was definitely because of the job. I would have to say that. that's a bad way to die, too. Yeah, an incurable brain disease. Hmm. Yeah, Yeah, sounds like like a terrible way to go. That one you get from dirty water, like eat yours from the inside out. That's what I'm saying, man. It's like, there's too many things out here designed to kill us, man. The world is trying to get rid of us, man. You see this? Uh yeah, we're the virus, it's man. That part. We're Earth's virus, by the way. And these are just antibodies. Yeah, exactly. Get the fuck off of me. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you see how like when COVID happened and the world shut down, like ducks and shit came back to areas they hadn't been into. Like, yep. like I was just like, oh, it, and it only took like two weeks, and like nature started taking back over. It was like yep. sea turtles were hitting the beaches and shit. Yep. They're like, oh, there's no disturbance. We're safe. Like yep. in two weeks. If we got wiped out, man, the world wouldn't even know we were here in a month. That part. Yep. So, all right, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for joining us. TNT. Yep.